count it down. We are just one day and nine hours away from game one of the NLDS. Phillies versus the New York Mets. This will be the first postseason meeting, if you can believe it, between the heated rivals. That's right, and the showdown at the bank. You know they're going to have some amazing playoff food there, right? So we got to get you ready. CBS News Philadelphia's Brandon Goldner joining us live outside of Citizens Bank Park, getting everybody pumped up for this game tonight. Brandon, you had some amazing food you were uh, previewing earlier. Lots to eat. Absolutely lots to eat. Now, I did promise in the last half hour that I would put on this Philadelphia Phillies jersey that was brought to us out here outside Citizens Bank Park, and I promise I'm a man of my word 99% of the time, but <laughs> I'm from Baltimore originally, oh. and so after what happened to the Orioles, I'm just so <laughs> nervous that if I put this on, I'm going to cause bad luck for our web producer, <laughs> Joe Brandt, who is, this is his jersey that was uh, brought out here. So that's why I'm hesitant. Maybe you all during this live hit, maybe you all will convince me to put it on that it won't be bad luck if I do. I'm just that superstitious type of person. But anyway, a lot of fans out here enjoying the time and getting ready for the Phillies game. Take a look at what's happening at the team store. Fans are visiting there, picking up hats, sweatshirts, and shirts. You can find division champs items, rally towels, collector pins. Merchandise staff share one of the big sellers is the locker room cap and championship shirt. Two fans we met came here specifically to grab Red October gear. Uh, we're just here to support. We, we do what we can. I still have my shirts from the 80s. Still have my shirts from 08. Even though I'm going to the game on Saturday, I'd rather come here now, get this, my material, everything I want, and not have to deal with the crowd. Now, we can't forget the new food options offered inside the bank for the postseason, too. The fan favorite turkey leg is back for Red October. Debuting tomorrow are these milkshakes, short rib sandwiches, and unique mango and mango apple pie pizza. Now, the team store opens at 10 this morning, so fans can come in and really just get ready for this matchup. And also, there will be a block party tonight at the garage on East Gerard Street in Philadelphia in Fishtown to get ready around 5 to 7 p.m. to get ready for this matchup. Now, I don't know, should I put this on? Should I? Is this going to be bad luck, Jan Janelle? What should I do? Well, listen, we do want to mention that the jersey belongs, as you said, to mm -hmm. Joe Brandt in our web department. He is truly a team player because Brandon, he took that shirt off his back to get yes. it to you. I mean, how's that for commitment? <laughs> all right, all right. Give yeah, me one second. On. Let me just unbutton you the rest of these buttons. Brandon. Give me <laughs> there, there we go. go. Yes. All right, here we go. Yes. Oh, boy. Nah, here we go. There we go. Official. Go, Phil. He's official. All right. They're winning this one tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's go, Phil. Thank you, Brandon. Thanks, You're a Brandon. team player as well. I sure is. <laughs> <right>. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Septa <laughs> is helping all you Phillies fans get home from the games this weekend. The Transit Agency offering extra Broad Street Line trains for the games Saturday and Sunday. Regular service to Energy Station will have six extra express trains as well, leaving Fern Rock Transportation Center every 10 minutes beginning at 1 p.m. Both games have an afternoon start time just after 4 o'clock.